We were going the worst and the most uh, difficult step of the whole process of making this uh, PC look and perform better. After changing the DDC pump, after draining the loop and everything, we need to switch the soft uh, tubing on the CPU with hard tubing. So right now what we use here is 50 millimeter out of diameter PTG tubes. For bending, what the most important thing is that you need to heat them. Any basic heat gun from the hardware store works fine. Uh, you need a pipe cutter. Uh, for PTG tubes, you can go with a uh, standard PVC pipe cutting tool, which is not very expensive, around 10 euro, literally. What we will use is that we use a mold for bending. In my case, this is a 90 degree uh, mold by Bixki that I use, which is uh, bought from AliExpress for really cheap. And what we need for uh, bending is this silicone insert, this blue thing that goes into the tube. The idea behind it is that when we heat the tube, yeah, uh, the um, silicone prevents the tube from smashing. And this way we can get these perfect uh, bands which are not cracked or smashed in the middle. So now I will show you, uh, we'll start uh, heating the pipe. And after that, uh, while it's hot, we'll press it against uh, the molding tool and it will take uh, the 90 degree shape that we want to achieve. Okay, so for example, what you need to do is to make a single 90 degree band. This is our objective right here. And what we need to do, we need to find the section where we will bend. Uh, for example, if we decide to heat uh, the pipe here, uh, we need actually to, to heat uh, like a bigger spot, like this one. Because if we, uh, if we heat the pipe at only one spot, actually what will happen is that the band may crack or it may, it may uh, receive a form that we don't like. Also, you see that while I'm heating the pipe, I will rotate and I will move over the flame like that. While I'm on the gun, you will see that I'm rotating the pipe constantly and I will move it uh, left and right. So uh, we will make sure that uh, the heat goes on a wider section of the tube, not only on the same spot, so we can get a better result. So I'm thinking about starting uh, to hit the pipe so we can get this single 90 degree uh, turn that we want to achieve. Oh, very important thing. Uh, I really uh, should tell you that when you buy a heat gun, yeah, you go for the cheapest one, but it needs to stand like this because this is very important. You know, you need to have a solid stand on the gun so you can uh, do your bends and uh, not worry about your gun moving or things like that. So let's start. Okay, so what you see right now is uh, that we managed to hit the pipe pretty well and uh, at the same time when we get the temperature that is needed to make the bend, go straight to the mold. So you see the mold that you get should have the same outer diameter of the pipe. So uh, the pipe goes perfectly into the mold so it's not cranked on any side and we have the perfect 90 degree band. So it goes like that, you have to keep it for a minute or so, so it can cool down and to get the shape that we want. So I think that it cooled down enough and you see that we have a 90 degree band. Eha, okay. you actually did the time, it's perfect yeah. this. Uh, the most uh, tricky part about heating and uh, getting the pipe in the form that we want is actually to get the right temperature at which you need to stop heating and start bending. So what you see, uh, when you hit the pipe, it will start uh, to get flexible at some point. And at this point, you should not, in the initial point of uh, getting flexible, you should not start bending. You will see that uh, as far as you go with the heating, the, the pipe in your hands will get very flexible and very flexible. And there will be one point where you say, okay, I think that I should uh, heat here, but actually, if you ask me at the right moment of bending is when you think that it's the correct, it's the right way, 
you should bend a little bit more and uh, this way you get it uh, okay so basically uh, you should not worry about overheating it because you saw how much time it took me also if you think that uh, you're overheating too much you can regulate how uh, how hot you get with going up and down if you go further from the gun it will give uh, less heat to the pipe so you can slow down the process of heating so really what, my, what i can say uh, this is not so difficult but still you need to do it yourself you need to try and you get uh, an idea at what is the correct point of um, really heating the tube but that's not that uh, hard after that uh, you take the insert out and the insert is very flexible there is uh, no way of damaging it really and you see we have the perfect literally the perfect 90 degree band right here and it's not cracked there aren't any bubbles yeah bubbles form when you go really really overheating it if you but you see it will get a really weird shape you get bubbles inside the ptg which is not acceptable so uh, you really should be very careful when you see that it's starting to, to bend heat it a little bit more and then you can do the the, the bending and also what i would like to recommend is that uh, to use those molding kits that you can get from aliexpress also there are ones sold by Alfcool, thermaltake uh, ek water block also sells their own but uh, they are quite expensive what i can recommend is to buy a set of uh, this one by bixki from aliexpress there is a set of three one for 90 degree bent like this one one uh, for 45 degree and one for 180 degree the set of three is around five bucks something like that yeah and uh, it's very very accessible so guys it comes time for sizing and putting the already bent tube that we have so many people go uh, for sizing on eye you know so you for example take a piece of uh, tubing you know you put it here like this like that you can use a ruler or uh, some kind of a measure you know in centimeters things like that but my recommendation is to prepare a template or a draft for your tubing so i'm using a regular garden wire which you know you have to straighten it out first and then you can create a template for example as you can see we have already put our fittings inside those are the two fittings on the cpu board that i use and also we have the fittings that go into my distro plate we take the wire and you have to bear in mind that the wire should go inside the fitting because the pipe is also going inside the fitting around five to seven uh, millimeters probably a centimeter and uh, you see i'm using the outer edge of the fitting here and the outer edge of the fitting here so basically and you see right now you go from edge to edge and you see it's short you see it doesn't go into the fitting if we go like that it's it's not going well it's short you see uh, you use the wire because it is flexible you know you can bend it at uh, the point uh, you like this is the easiest way for me and it turns out that it is uh, surprisingly working well uh, because believe me this is the hardest part of uh, doing hard tubing when you start uh, sizing and cutting the tubes this is the point where you uh, start throwing away a lot of tubing which is really expensive uh, when you are sure that this is uh, the correct sizing and form of the tubing that uh, we want to cut you just take the wire and you have to put it on the already pre-bent tube that you've done so basically you have to put it in the middle of the tube as you can see here you put it in the middle of the tube in my case i'm taking a marker which is not permanent yeah this is very important and where the wire goes you just you know you mark and you take your tool for cutting what i recommend is to use this type of a cutter there are different types of scissors that are used for plastic tubing this is the cheapest one and believe me ptg tubing that i'm using uh, is very soft and it's really easy for this type of a cutter to uh, go through it for example if you're going for acrylic tubing i should say here that they cannot be cut with this because acrylic is really hard and uh, you should sew the tubing and after that you should use uh, this deburring tool the one that i'm using is by alpha cool which can clean the edge on the inside with this part and the edge of on the outside with this part but if you use this type of a cutter it's pretty easy 
The worst thing that can be needed is uh, to clean the outer side. As you can see, I cleaned the outer side of the tubing because uh, there was a small edge there which was not okay for the fitting. And you need to really to have a really smooth edge because every fitting inside has a rubber ceiling which uh, you can damage. And if you damage the rubber ceiling, this is what actually uh, seals the system from air and liquid getting out of the system and uh, possibly damaging your uh, components. And uh, when you cut, you can can then start putting your tube inside the system. I go to the first fitting to insert the cut tube pin. You need to apply force, it's perfectly normal. This is because the ceiling does its job. And then you rotate it and you go into your other fitting like this. And then you can see the result. In our case, the tubing fits perfectly in the first and the second fitting. The tube looks nice, yeah, there are some fingers on, on it that I'll wash later, but basically this is it. You can see that because this is a 16 millimeter out of diameter tube and this is a 60 millimeter uh, fitting, you, you see it goes quite fit. You, you see there is no space. When you put it like this, you take your ceilings of the fitting. So you put them also in. You need to be careful that's why i'm going slow because i don't want to damage anything you go with your second and this is it and this has a screw and you need to screw it on your fitting and at the other side of the tube you do the same and this is it you're done with your tubing okay.